Eh, cabrón, bienvenido de nuevo al taller. Today, we answer the age old question as to whether these El Chipo baterías are any fucking good at all. Eh, Spanish segue? Eh, get a writing credit out of this one of these days. For the commiserate amount of beer tokers, what this one cost, I got four of these ones for the same. Is this going to be four times better? Impress focus, you fuck. Hey, thank you. You're getting better at that. Impressive. Look at the accreditations there. We got the, the Chinesium excrement, FCC compliant, Royal Occupational Health and Safety Society. All of these. Look at the look. I mean, designed to meet or exceed the original quality and specs as tested by whom. <laughs> Here's the Here's where the mother, rather, where the lover meets the load here. So here's the Makita. Ostensibly, looks the same. It's a black. It's got the Pixie containment device and so forth. But you can tell, and this is made in China as well, but I think the cells are made in Singapore. This is made in China. You can tell, however, the various strata of Chinesium they've needed to dig through to make this versus this by having a mere whiff of the packaging Thanks for choosing. We maybe ought to go to the WAB site, which is 403. Castigating the countenance, we can see these are plainly cheaper. Omit all the verbiage on there, and you can see plainly with your eyes that these aren't anywhere near as good a quality as the brand name. This is polycarbonate, quite a bit heavier as well. Distinctly heavier. Polycarbonate case, cheap ABS plastic. They have on this guy, they have Torx security as well as an anti tamper tab in there. That doesn't help us out at all, but it helps them out. Applying the safety third rule now, on account of my wife doesn't give me the combination to get this thing. Actually, I dropped some weight, it might come off. No. <laughs> Pretty close. Uh, yeah, uh, guys. Speaking of castigation and castration and degloving, I get a lot of comments about taking my ring off, but this is a religious symbol to me. And uh, you know what? If I want to wear my, my turban, riding my motorcycle around without a helmet, fuck, more power to you. Universal health care. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. It's my shop. I'm fucking right. <laughs> I, I like the ring. It reminds me, actually, to be careful because there are people who rely on me. So don't stick your fingy where you don't stick your dinky do. Are you ready for the crusty schmoo? Oh, you know it, you know it. I'll take things you don't want to say to your bride on your wedding night for a hundred, Alex. Just take my word for it. Actually, it's not that, it's not that bad. A little bit ginger carefully. You see, wow, wow. Silver plated leads for the battery in. And it might be. Yeah, we'll give her a. Uh, uh. Tape in there. These just look like Chineseium no name cells with the chrome uh, or nickel plate and then four little tab welded on there instantaneously welded spark welded there's a word for that that escapes me just for tits and pickles i'm gonna trepan this uh cover your ass plug one might call it a butt plug there's no void if removed void warranty if removed anymore that's uh, illegal so that is likely just a well, I guess just keep the honest people out. We're in leg San and I was mistaken. These with the doll patina are silver electro plated, what do you call them, terminals. And these guys are nickel. So that's some sort of high nickel steel and then electro plated with silver. You can see the difference here. Quite a bit more skookum as you'd expect for the price on the uh, Makita branded. You see it's encased, surmounted in a pre-famulite. 
very robust. This one's just kind of weeble wobbling around. You see that? This one, stiff as a wedding prick. A look at the electronicals. Clearly a lot more work went into the electronicals. To what end? Well, battery control, maintenance and so forth. These guys, this is very likely only for protection. Did the old jazz hands routine on the gargler, your private dancer being what he is. No coins, please. This, these are Sony's, uh, I believe, uh, went on the Battery Mooch website. It's just bar none, the best uh, lithium ion 18650 cell review for douche fluters. But anyway, very, very thorough, lots of data there. And these are, these are very good quality cells, 2100 uh, amp hour rated. So we're seeing here, we got two banks, gives us 18 volts in series, and then those are paralleled. So each one of these will be two amp hours and uh, parallel them up, that gives us four. These are actually rated at 2100. However, if you are, according to the battery mooch's data, fantastic by the way, thank you. These batteries at, say the tool is running at 300 watts, 18 volts, 300 watts, that gives us 16, 17 amps, no, 16 and a half amps. Yeah, brain fried. But at that discharge rate, you're roughly looking at 2,000 milliamp hours. So they're on their ratings. There is no fudge factor for these guys. They are fucking what they tell you is what you get. As far as the cells in the little, what letter is a little drop of jizz? I ask you. In the Huflung Dung brand, the uh, cream of sung young man, varietal tnna3 i have no idea no ratings at all on there other than on the outside but it's not outside the realm of possibility that these are indeed 20 uh, 2000 milliamp hour rated on account of it you know it doesn't take a whole lot of sign they got uh, legitimately 3000 now no problem and of course that affects the longevity but you know, guys are always looking for the biggest number. I mean, bigger is invariably better. You can see the quality of the build here is quite a, it's a lot chintzier. Very much more of a home game or battery for somebody looking to save a few bucks. Jesus Christ being a carpenter, I will remind you that he was also crucified on a wooden cross. I misspoke. I misspoke. These guys, the Makitas, were going to cost me 170 Kanakistan Kopecks for two of them. And these guys cost me 129 for four of them. Okay, so a little bit, uh, you know, not, not quite as bad as I had made it out to be cost-wise. On the electronicals, of course, second to none on the engineering side as well. All these uh, comply, well, all this... Uh, what would you call that? Yeah, you know this stuff. Celastic and conformal coating, as well as proper affixation, not only with the mechanical joints there, the soldered joints to the leads, but also screwed, glued, and tattooed in place. The thing is Gukumer's frig. Also, one of the things that you don't get on the cheapo is a battery indicator. I really like the battery indicator on the battery because it doesn't need to be on the tool in order to uh, show you the, the indication of what's left in there. And of course, it doesn't work very well when it's not attached, but there should be a little pez le piton there, yeah. Just a little membrane switch, a little tactile switch there, show you how charged up the battery is. And in this case, it doesn't show you, it just stops on you. You can see no conformal coating at all on there and no traces other just the just the wire here onto these fusible links if you look at how they're affixed it looks pretty chintzy framing you fuck this i'm getting this camera pretty trained up it's been pretty good at the focus in you fuck quick but still the framing Something wrong between the driver's seat and the steering wheel, I'm afraid. 
a long, well-veined and slight curve to the left of it is. Do I recommend it? Well, obviously, I recommend using the factory one because it's skookamurus frig. However, is there a place for these El Cheapos? I think so. We're going to have to test a... Um, we're going to have to use a, uh, a dynamometer in order to test the output of these batteries. Not just electrically, but actually in the tool doing some real work. I think there is a place for these craptacular ones in the home gamer shop. You know, say you're a, a filthy wood elf, a tree carcass fondler in a nice warm shop. Uh, you're not going to have the effects of, of uh, cold degradation, cold performance degradation, which all men suffer in the cold. These guys, they're definitely not going to have the capacity of these guys. We'll prove that once we get the dynamometer going and obviously not going to have the longevity. But if you can put up with the question marks in your head, when is this going to thing uh, fail on me? And also, is it putting out the chooch for enough for my chotch to get the job done? If you're not worried about that, then uh, yeah, these would be all right just for, for around the uh, hacienda. But if you're going out in the field or you're slinging these around or you're buying these for your guys, don't fuck around with the cheapos because it's just so frustrating to not have the tool for the job. So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.